he has gone super saiyan <laughs> like damn ow yeah no like you're actually hurt to look at i'm sorry i'm gonna get him cryopotted up and then we're gonna get him back to base Hey guys and gals, Gunshine Mori here with another video on Arc Aberration, where today we are going to be going out and taming up another creature. Now, originally for today, I was planning on taming the Archelon because it was supposed to come out. Unfortunately, it does not spawn on Aberration like I thought it did. So, what I'm going to actually be doing is going out and taming up a Northrow. Because I've actually not done that in a playthrough yet. I've only done that in my guide video. So, I figured that's what we would do today. So, I need to grab five foundations here, and we should be good to go, and I should have everything ready. I got four, uh, yeah, four should work. And we will now go look up and find a good north road to go tame. Also, there's one thing that's been starting to bug me with the Seekers, and it's the auto hover. So, I think I'm going to turn that off. Originally, I kept it on just in case, say, like when I'm like gliding around or anything, or like I accidentally fall. It goes into parachute mode. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I'm getting tired of, you know, automatically hovering. So I'm looking for a level 100 and up north row. This one here has a lot of stamina and weight, but bad health and damage. I'm going to try and find a good one. I might have to go get this one. Ooh, yes, we're going to go get that one. That one actually has really good stats. Damn. I did not expect to just find one like that. That one's like an absolutely we're getting it. What is, what is this one? It has good... Ooh, ooh, you're definite. Ooh, that's a male and a female. I could try and get two north rows today, guys. I could try. And then you have good stamina. I might do something here I shouldn't. It's just a bad habit I have from my previous playthroughs of Ark. I might breed together the perfect north rows because those all have really good high stats. But I might need more generators for that. Okay, so one thing here I'm doing as well before we go out and get a north row is because we are heading into the blue zone, I am trying to tame a bulb dog. But it appears the one that I've marked is running for some reason and I can't feed it. And of course it has to run into the water. Okay. So once I get this guy, I'll get back to you guys and we'll head over to the north row. Okay. I made a critical mistake here, and I didn't bring enough seeds, which I'm just now realizing. Okay, so I got the bulb dog situation all sorted out. And I think here, just to start out with, we're going to go and try and tame this 150 north row down here. Because I have everything, I believe, for one north row on my server rates. I brought along five generators, so I believe that should be enough to tame a 150. Especially on the rates that we have on the server here. I just realized something here that I have going on. My seeker is draining my bulb dog of charge right now. As I activate it. And as well. Okay, you had to fall in the water where the crab is. There's a bunch of stuff around my north row here. That I don't like. And I, so I need to get rid of it, and I need to be careful not to aggro the North Throw in the process. There was a Cockatrice in this mix, and that's another mod that we have installed. That's a creature I need to figure out how to tame. So the Cockatrice is was it's another one of those uh, weird mods that I got. It adds in creatures, but it's one of those mythical creatures. I know a little bit about it. I think it's Greek mythology. And it's like a, a chicken dragon that can turn people into stone. Okay, I might have a little bit of a problem here. There's multiple north rows over here. So I got to go over here. And I think I got to do this one generator at a time. But I don't think I can do that. I need at least two. Because, yeah. If you, I, I'm pretty sure it's like if there, that t little gap where there's no generators activated will cause problems. All right, he's heading for this generator. Okay. Come on, buddy. Just bite it. It's right there in front of you. Also, where's my rock drake? There we go. He's got it. He's got it. He's going after that one. So we're going to watch him. As soon as that generator breaks, we need to turn this one on. Like so. Now he'll head over to it. And if I'm correct, I am going to need a third platform here. 
Just because uh, that structure is going to prevent me from placing. And I'll just turn this on now. Because he's going to auto. Yeah, see, this isn't going to allow me to place yet. And then once that one's broke and he goes to the next one. I might be, I might be short on. No, because two of these got him halfway. I might only need four. I might only need four generators. I think, ah, uh, yeah, I'm only going to need four generators. I want to be careful on this one because I don't want to accidentally aggro that other north row over there. Okay. This should be the last one for the 150. Come on, my man. Just stop biding it. Why, why am I giving it an accent? Jeez. <clears throat> also, I made a critical, mis critical mistake while taming this guy. I forgot to bring a cryopod. <laughs> I keep on doing that. But that there is a north row, guys. That is extremely easy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you literally just need a couple generators and you need to set up like a little triangle out of foundations and he'll just walk in a circle and eat the generators. So uh, stat wise here, I can't really see your stats anymore, but that's what you had at the beginning. So we know that they've increased. I should probably tame one of those deer or work on, oh no, because I'd have to go fight Rockwell to get access to tech binoculars on this server. So, yay. Uh, that might be something we hold off on. But I'm pretty sure my man here should be fine. So I'm going to quickly run back home, grab me a cryopod, and then we'll bring him back in. Then we might look into getting another one. Maybe a breeding pair. Also, the nameless are showing up because my, uh, my bulb dog is dry. My seeker has... Eaten everything my bulb dog had. Now, the one thing I'm hoping is that my north row there does not get attacked. You know what? He should be set on neutral because we just tamed him. So he'll protect himself. And I trust that he can. I need to make this quick, though. I need to get a cryopod and get back quick. Okay, so I got a cryopod. And I also set my fabricator to start crafting up three more generators. Because I think we're going to try and go get that 145 male. And try and get a breeding pair going. But we're going to get this other... Ooh, come on, dude. We get caught on trees sometimes. But we're going to get this other guy crowded up real quick, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I hear Nameless, and I have my glow pad on. Why are you guys attacking me? This is a 125, too. Oh, I really need to take this one out. I really don't have to, but they shouldn't be attacking me. I have my glow pad out. Did we just get four Nameless Venom? Okay, yeah, no, we're going to hang on to that. That's awesome. But, yeah, we got our North Row Cryoed up now. I do have another Cryopod, but I need to run back home to get the generators. So, we will also, when we get back home, check out this North Row we have. Maybe craft it up a saddle. But, yeah, we'll, we're still, I'm still kind of thinking about going and getting that other North Row for the breeding pair. But we probably will. I'm just going to be honest. Okay, so we're back home. We're going to pop out the north row now. Boom, there's our girl. And she looks pretty nice. I like the colors that we got on it. The, was it the bit of a, I want to say like a brick red. And then they got the green underbelly. It does kind of look good, especially for a lizard. So I got my no throw saddle crafting up right now during an earthquake. Like usual. But here we go. There is her saddle. And first time riding on a north row, actually, <laughs> ever since I did the mod review. I've had this on the server since, like, Aberration came out. Originally, it did cause some problems with the server. But uh, ever since I got some updates, it's been a lot more stable now. But yeah, you are looking good. I'm just a little pained. I can't check your stats and see, like, exactly how many points are in which. Um, as much as I would. What's your traits? Cave bearing. Reduces the amount. Okay, so any aberration items in your inventory are reduced. Okay, that's a decent one. It's just an overall coverage for aberration items. So, I have decided that we are going to go out again and get another north row. This time we're going to go get this 140 male. He has pretty decent stamina. That's the main reason why I'm going for him. 
And I think, yeah, I'm going to breed me up a perfect north row. So that way I can have north rows as a caving creature. I know that sounds a little insane, but I think it will work out. Oh no! Oh no! The north row I'm trying to go tame is in radiation. And I don't have a radiation suit. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, of course you have to be right over there in the radiation. All right, we have to go pick out a different north row then. What about this? No, this one's got to be in radiation too. I'm going to just take it. Anything past this line is radiation. So both the good north rows I want are great. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're a male. You work. You work. Where is he? I'm disoriented. The radiation threw me off. Okay, so our north row is right over there. I feel like I got a decent chunk of an area cleaned out over here to tame them. So I'm going to start setting up my triangle. I was not quite ready. There's a titana bow on my butt. You know what I'm going to do with this titana boa? As well. I'm going to use him to reload my goo gun so I have some ammo. Because that's one thing I have not been doing. But, if I'm correct... Dang it, that's the wrong north row, and I feel like mine keeps getting further and further away. Okay, let's pick everything back up. I gotta remove. I gotta move closer to him. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do here, just to immediately get his attention, let's place this down, hit the Jenny, throw gasoline in the generator, and turn it on, just so that way it gets his attention. See, that got his attention. Now I'll work on setting up the second generator. I'm going to hold off on turning it on until he walks over here, though. Come on, buddy. And, Rockdrake, I have you right where I want my third generator to go. Alright, he's he's approaching. Uh, you're facing the wrong way. Oh, he's, he's working on it. Okay, that's got one more bite in it, so... Turn this one on. Okay, he's going to walk over to it. Did I remember to bring a cryopod? I did. I did. Okay. I was just double checking. <laughs> I had to check my hotbar. Okay, once he goes in for that third bite. Yep. There we go. This should be our last Jenny. I just stepped on his tail. I'm sorry, my man. Hey, there we go. This, I would say, is a done deal if he would actually bite the generator. Damn, I should not have said that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely a done deal. That's got one more bite in it. There we go. Now he'll go over to that one. And I can pick up my foundations. Okay, I think this one literally takes one more bite, right? Are you going to break the generator? To, yeah, he's going to break the generator to finish off. Yep, there we go. That there is our very... Oh my god. Uh, epilepsy warning. I'm sorry, guys. Don't look directly at it. <laughs> he has gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> like, damn. Ow. Yeah, no, like, you're actually hurt to look at. I'm sorry. I'm going to get him cryopotted up, and then we're going to get him back to base. Okay, so everyone is home. And quickly toggle off my glow pet so my seeker will quit making that noise. Ding. That was actually starting to annoy me. But here is our male north row. Now, this one actually looks a lot better than the first one. Because we got that orange color. And it does look like a bit more blue. I'm sorry though, but the, like the green light does throw it off, sadly. Um, Hold up, I could. Sorry, seeker, I need to drop you. Just so that way I can do this could toggle on my glow pet because it's it seems like sometimes when you get close to things uh it can kind of override the like the green light and we can kind of get a better look at like what color it is in which it's not helping it's not helping at all but yeah i'm gonna get this north row crafted up a saddle here we might try and hatch an egg here to finish off the episode if i can figure out how to actually spell north row but yeah we might hatch an egg here. I don't know. I ain't joking. As soon as I put a saddle on my guy here, this Ravenger jumped out of nowhere and attacked me. <laughs> it was like 
out, like, as soon as I put the saddle on and hopped on, just, whoom, Ravager attack. And apparently my Anki is also still on, uh, neutral. Same with my Seeker, because he tried to attack as well. So. So I have decided here, yeah, we are going to hatch up a North Row Egg. Um... And I'm going to try and get some good stats on it. We might only hatch up a couple here and, like, check out what they get. But, yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just take a screenshot of each of these so I can compare them side by side. I've not given either of them a point into anything. So, yeah, this should be good. Um, you were supposed to be the one with the best stamina. But why does this one have better? Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. Yeah, you have the better stamina. You have the better health. What about the melee? 566. Five, five, ooh, you have the better melee. Who has the better weight? You have the better weight. Okay. So those are the stats I'm worried about. Or those four. So we're going to try and get one with all the good ones on it. Um, I might only hatch one egg here on camera. I don't know about it. Um, as well, I did notice that this one actually has an in inherit stamina mutatable so it, it, this means that there's a high chance that it inherits this one's stamina but mutated so i do got to keep an eye out for that okay so here we go we got our north row egg um here you guys go i'm just going to disable the mating so that way you don't uncontrollably lay eggs okay anki's out the way what we're going to do is we're just going to run up here run over to our air conditioner wall and we're going to drop the egg now this should yeah this should hatch up in less than eight minutes now since this is a modded creature i'm not too sure about how my breeding settings will work with it i might actually have to go into like admin mode and uh work with that with the north row controller because that's something that the moros mods have is that you can uh where is it you can craft up this if you have uh creative mode enabled and you can use it to mess with their any settings and as well, if you guys haven't noticed, as of today, the 17th, this is when I noticed it, um, every premium mod for ARC is 25% off. So I know I have grabbed some. I grabbed that, uh, was it Ankin's Dino Pack? The, uh, was it one of the skins that was paid for? And as well, right now, I'm holding off on it because I'm not too sure if I really want it. The Moro's Leviathan. I think I might get it, but I don't think we're ever going to, like, play with it on videos. I might get it to do a review. That's, like, the one thing I might do. Okay, guys. So, the North Row Egg is about to hatch here. Here we go. And, ooh, we got twins. That's nice. Let's check and see. Oh, hold up. Did we... Oh. That's actually even rare. So when you get twins, most of the time they're all the same gender. It's very rarely that you get two of, like, two different gender. But this is what I would consider, like, an instant breeding pair if they had good stats. Now, it appears that they, did they carry over the dads? Hold up, I gotta pull up my, uh, my stuff here. Let me check. So they got the good melee. They got the good weight, and they got the good stamina, but they got the bad health. I ain't gonna lie. That's still a pretty good roll for caving. That's three out of four. I'd hang on to at least one of them. Probably gonna hang on to both of them. Um, it's just now raising them up without letting them die. The last two baby creatures I got, they starved to death when I went AFK and got offline. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to be calling it here for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell and share this video with your friends and family. It really does help out the channel and shows that you support us. And as well, we do offer channel memberships right now. We only got like one channel member, so if you guys want to join him, go for it. Um, but yeah, anyways, the Magun Chamora sending out. Peace.